The enthusiasm and momentum from book one flowed through to book two of the Perth Yearling Sale today with encouraging results for the West Australian industry. Topping book two of the Perth Yearling Sale was a smart snippetson from Scenic Lodge. The West Speed Platinum Colt was knocked down to local trainer Adam Durant for $100,000. I train the sister, obviously, etc. I've got a really big opinion of her, so yeah, I thought uh, I thought he was, you know, definitely one to target. He looks like he'll run early, and yeah, basically, I thought I was going to get him for a little bit cheaper, but yeah, there was obviously a few people on him. And you feel for the sale? Has it generally been you've had to go a little bit more? Yeah, it's been really strong. The nice horses have uh, had plenty of people on them, and and they've definitely gone for overs, and uh, you've had to really uh, really fight for them if you want them. So no, it's been a good sale. Trevor Andrews was very active on day one and back and forth again today, securing a lovely filly from Western Breeders Alliance for $90,000. She's by local stallion Oratorio, progeny from whom Trevor's had great success with. We really like the filly. We had a, a really nice Oratorio filly win on Saturday called Private Dancer and I bought this filly for the same connection so we're hoping she has her ability. Yarradale Studs, lot 211, also generated good interest with prominent Singapore owner Constance Cheng going to 65,000 to take home the strong Scandal Keeper Colt. The first foal of stakes performed three-quarter sister to Alaka Zoom shone brightly today. The filly was knocked down for 67,500 to James Christie's Electra Bloodstock. Local WA trainers were impressed with the strength of the sale and quality of horses. I didn't expect to be paying the money for the horses that we're having to, but um, if you don't meet the market and, and um, you know up your up what you're prepared to pay for them, you're going to walk home without the horses. So, good quality of horse here, um, and obviously the Oratorios are early running types. So, hopefully, quick return type horses, and we're back here next year with a few dollars. I probably got the feel about three days ago that it was going to be much stronger than what we had here last year. Uh, there was uh, yeah, quite a disappointing for the vendors point of view last year but uh, we bought a few quite a few last year and they've all been able to show us ability so um, we wouldn't we're quite happy to buy the buy the West Australian bred horses who we know can turn out to be black art barts and playing gods and scenic blasts and etc 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 so uh, yeah look very happy with what we're seeing we're pretty happy with um, the result of the sale um, we came here and we had a plan to um, to buy a dozen nice horses and uh, I think we've done pretty well so far. Um, the, yeah, the two Hinchinbrook Colts, um, we thought they were standouts of the sale and, um, and yeah, we were, we were thrilled to um, secure them. A great day of selling today, obviously after yesterday's phenomenal sale which is now uh, clearing 96%, uh, today just uh, went on from that. Uh, you know, we had strong, strong interest in all the horses, you know, this was a cog down from yesterday but all the way through today's sale there was good interest um, on the on lots on offer. And the results show confidence in the West Australian industry, which bodes well for vendors and breeders. Exactly. You know, out of this, out of this sale, you know, it's the most positive sale I've had here in the West for a long, long time. We're hoping that the vendors now have confidence to reinvest and improve their product and going forward um, aspire to be part of Book One. And most impressive was the aggregate for a reduced number of lots compared to last year. Exactly, like last year we grossed 9.3 million and to have it up above 11.5 million, now that's a 24% increase which is phenomenal stat on any, on any level. Great, and so now all of our attention turns to the Adelaide, to the Adelaide yearling sale? Yes, we've got Adelaide and then obviously Gold Coast March, so we uh, look forward to seeing you there.